Okay, and for our application, we have 59 out of 100. And like we wrote on our daily ticker, it's 59 hundredths and 59%. They all mean out of 100. All three of these represent this concrete uh, representation of 59 out of a whole that's been cut up into 100 pieces. Now, 59, um, don't underestimate the 9. A lot of people think if a number ends in 9, like 19, um, that, that it's prime. But always go through your toolbox if you're not sure. So the toolbox is that you go through your first five or six prime numbers and divide them out until it becomes something of knowledge that you don't need to do it. But in this early stage of understanding how to find um, factors of a number, um, go ahead and do this with 59. So we'll just do this together because we want to know, do we have a common factor between 59 and 100 that we can simplify? So I already know the, the hundreds. So let's see about 59. So I'm going to take 59 and I'm going to go through my toolbox, my progression. Now some of these I can do mentally, like 2 I can do mentally. 2 is a prime number because it only has 1 and itself is factors. But I know I don't even need to um, actually do this. I can do it mentally because I know that all numbers that are, are multiples of 2 end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Well, this doesn't, so I can move on. My next prime number in my toolbox is 3. So let's give this one a shot. How many times does 3 go into 5? 1 time, 2, 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 9 is 27, 3 times 10 is 30. Oh, no, it doesn't go in evenly. So 3 is not a factor of 59. Now, 5 is a prime number, but I can eliminate that one because all multiples of 5, like we learned on our October calendar, they end in 0 or 5. That one doesn't. What about 7? Well, let's try it. 7 does not go into 5. How many times 7 go into 59? Well, I know 7 times 6. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 is 60. Nope, 7 doesn't go. What's my next prime number? 11. Well, I know 11 is 55 or 99. So my last prime number is 13. Well, let's see. I know 13 can't go into 5. But I know 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, no, what about 4? Nope. So now that I've gone through my progressions up to 13, I know that 59 does, is a prime number. And 100 does not have 59 as a factor. So 59 is, 100 is in its simplest form. Now this seems like a lot of busy, busy work, but I'm doing all of this stuff physically that is done mentally. When you get a hang of this, this can be something that's done through practice, and we've been doing this for up to now 59 days. Uh, once we go through 100 days of this, you will start recognizing patterns. That's the purpose of calendar math, to recognize patterns that you don't have to always divide it out. Sometimes you do, and even me, sometimes I have to, because I'm not really sure if it has a, um, a factor of 13 or a factor of seven if it's a bigger number. So always go through those toolbox progressions and you will always find its factors.